Thank you for choosing the Genie Universal Wireless Keypad. The following will walk you through the programming and mounting process. See the description for times if you need to review a specific step in the process. It is recommended to complete the programming of the keypad before mounting. Activate the keypad by opening the battery compartment, pulling the protective tab, and then reinstalling the compartment door. Programming will not be lost when replacing batteries after programming is complete. Before we begin programming the keypad, we will review the buttons and indicators. At the top is the program key. Below that is an LED indicator. And finally, the numbered keypad with the up-down key. A tone will sound with each button press. The LED will flash each time a key is pressed and entry is accepted. The LED in programming key will flash slowly while the number pad backlight remains on for 15 seconds, indicating a successful program or a valid pin has been entered. The LED, program key, and number pad backlight will flash rapidly, indicating a problem with programming or if an invalid pin is entered. You will need to wait 15 seconds until the backlight shuts off to re-enter a valid pin or reset the keypad programming. Before beginning each step in the setup and programming of the keypad, please make sure the keypad backlighting is off unless otherwise noted. Step 1. Find specifications and learn program button. First, locate the brand and specifications for your opener by checking the label, instruction manual, or current remote. Next, locate and identify the programming or learn code button on your garage door opener. These buttons are typically on the bottom of the openers, facing the floor, under the light bulb cover, or on the rear of the unit, facing away from the garage door. For commercial openers, this button may be on the circuit board or the opener. In some cases, this button could be on an external receiver that is mounted on or nearby the product. Step 2. Clearing the keypad factory reset. Perform this task first before setting the pin or at any time the keypad needs to be reset to its factory default. Press both the program and up-down keys at the same time and hold for 5 seconds until you hear a tone, and then release. The green LED will flash and go out. The keypad has now been factory reset and is ready to program. Step 3. Programming to one or more openers. This keypad can be programmed to up to three individual garage door openers in any combination of manufacturer specifications. You must complete programming for opener 1 before programming opener numbers 2 and or 3. You will need your opener ID number from chart A for these steps. If you have a Chamberlain, Liftmaster, or Craftsman opener with a yellow Learn Code button, please skip to the time on the screen. To start over at any time, return to step 2 to clear the keypad. On the keypad, enter a personal pin with 3 to 8 digits. Press and release the up-down key. The LED will flash slowly. Enter the ID number of the opener from chart A. Press and release the up-down key. The LED will flash rapidly. On the opener, press the Learn Program button for 2 to 3 seconds and then release. On the keypad, Press the up-down key once every two seconds until the opener operates. Do not press any additional buttons once the door begins to move. Let it run until it stops. Programming of opener 1 is complete. Complete the following steps only if you have a Chamberlain, Liftmaster, or Craftsman opener with a yellow Learn button. On the keypad, enter a personal pin with 3 to 8 digits. Press and release the up-down key. The LED will flash slowly. Press the number 4 button and then press and release the up-down key. 
Now, press and hold down the up-down key for about 5 seconds until you hear a tone, and then release. With the keypad LEDs still flashing, press the Learn Program button on the opener for 2 to 3 seconds, and then release. On the keypad, press and release the up-down key once. The opener will click. On the opener, again press the Learn Program button for 2 to 3 seconds and then release. On the keypad, again press and release the up-down key once. The opener will click again. Press and release the up-down key again and the door should move. Programming of opener 1 is complete. To program a second or third opener to the keypad at any time, make sure programming of opener 1 is already complete. If you have a Chamberlain, Liftmaster, or Craftsman opener with a yellow Learn Code button, please skip to the time on the screen. With the keypad backlighting off, press the Program button two times for the second opener or three times for the third opener. The blue LED will flash slowly. With the LED flashing, enter the ID number of the opener from chart A. Press and release the up-down key. The LED will flash rapidly. On the opener, press the Learn Program button for 2 to 3 seconds and then release. On the keypad, press the up-down key once every 2 seconds until the opener operates. Do not press any additional buttons once the door begins to move. Let it run until it stops. Programming of opener 2 or 3 is complete. Complete the following steps only if you have a Chamberlain, Liftmaster, or Craftsman opener with a yellow Learn button. With the keypad backlighting off, press the Program button two times for the second opener or three times for the third opener. The blue LED will flash slowly. Press the number 4 button and then press and release the up-down key. Now, press and hold down the up-down key for about 5 seconds until you hear a tone and then release. On the opener, press the Learn Program button for 2 to 3 seconds and then release. On the keypad, press and release the up-down key once. The opener will click. On the opener, again press the Learn Program button for 2 to 3 seconds and then release. On the keypad, again press and release the up-down key once. The opener will click again. Press and release the up-down key again and the opener should move. Programming of opener 2 or 3 is complete. Dip switch programming. If your opener uses dip switches to pair the signal with your keypad, you'll need to do the following. First, identify if your opener uses three positions per switch or two positions per switch. If you have a group of 9 to 12 switches with three positions for each switch, the up position will be a button 1 press, the middle position will be a button 2 press, and the down position will be a button 3 press. In this example, the button presses would be as follows. 3, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 1, 1, 2. If you have a group of 9 to 12 switches with two positions for each switch, the up position will be a button 1 press and the down position will be a button 2 press. In this example, the button presses would be as follows. 2, 1, 1, 1. 2, 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2. Write down the button press numbers that correspond with your opener's dip switch using the following chart. Next, use the following chart to determine the ID number for your brand of opener. Record this number for the following steps. On the keypad, enter a personal pin from 3 to 8 digits and press and release the up-down key. The LED will flash slowly. Next, enter the ID number from chart B on the keypad and then press the up-down key. The LED will flash quickly. Now enter the converted code on the keypad and then press the up-down key once every two seconds 
until the door begins to operate. Programming is now complete for a single dip switch opener. To program additional dip switch openers at any time, complete the following. On the keypad, press the program button two times to program a second opener or three times to program a third. The LED will flash slowly. Enter the ID number from chart B for opener number two or number three. Press the up-down key. The LED will flash quickly. Enter the converted code for opener number two or number three. Press the up-down key once every two seconds until the door begins to operate. Programming is now complete for the second or third dip switch opener. Step four, using the keypad to operate the openers. To use the keypad that is programmed to a single door, first ensure the number pad backlight is off. Enter your PIN and press the up-down key. The opener will now operate. For multi-door operation, first ensure the number pad backlight is off. Enter your PIN and press the up-down key. Push the number of the desired door, either 1, 2, or 3. That door will operate. Step 5. Mounting the keypad. The keypad must be mounted within sight of the garage door or doors, at least 5 feet above the floor, and clear of any moving door parts. First, remove the battery cover and batteries. Next, drill a 332nd inch pilot hole for the top mounting screw. Install the included screw into the pilot hole. Make sure you leave a 1 8 of an inch gap between the screw head and the wall. Hook the slotted mount on the back of the keypad over the screw. Mark and drill another 3 32nd inch pilot hole for the bottom mounting screw. Secure the keypad to the wall. Do not over tighten the screws. Reinsert the batteries and battery cover. Optional programming, setting a temporary pin, change pin. The temporary pin will operate the garage door opener or openers until the original pin is used. Use of the original pin will delete the temporary pin. Enter the current pin. Press the program key three times. Enter a temporary pin between three and eight digits long. Push the program key. The temporary pin is now active. Use of the original main pin will delete the temporary pin. If the original main pin needs to be changed, first enter the current original main pin number. Press the program key once and the LED will turn solid, indicating the keypad is ready for a new main pin. Enter the new 3 to 8 digit pin. Press the program key once and the LED will blink twice and go out, indicating the new main pin is set. Should you have any questions during the setup process, please visit geniecompany.com and select the live chat or call 1-800-354-3643 and we'll be happy to assist you. Thank you for choosing Genie. We hope you'll like and share this video and subscribe to the channel to see future videos on new products from Genie.